Wayne Estes was an All-American basketball player for Utah State University from 1963 to 1965, and to this day is still regarded as the best cager in school history. A native of Anaconda, Montana, Wayne came to Utah State in the summer of 1962 as a great all-around athlete who looked more like a football player than a basketball player. However, by the end of his freshman year, Wayne had proved all of the doubters wrong as he set the USU freshman scoring record with 254 points. As a varsity starter at the beginning of his sophomore season, Wayne would go on to play and start in all 75 games during his illustrious Aggie career, as he was held under 10 points just once and wound up with 31 20-point games, 18 30-point games, 7 40-point games, and a USU school record 52 points against Boston College during his senior season. Aggie fans were filled with excitement as they entered the George Nelson Fieldhouse on the night of February 8, 1965. They were excited to watch their hometown Utah State Aggies face Denver University, but they were also excited about the possibility of their local hero, Wayne Estes, eclipsing the 2,000 career point total. Wayne, too, had thoughts of becoming just the 18th NCAA player ever to score 2,000 points, while at the same time setting a new Nelson Fieldhouse single-game scoring record, which was 45 points held by Max Perry. As Wayne prepared for the game that night, he complained of numbness in his shoulders, arms, and hands. Those concerns carried over to the opening minutes as Wayne missed his first five shot attempts. Though the numbness remained, he quickly settled in and scored 24 points by the end of the first half. Walking into the locker room at halftime, Wayne made the comment to one of his teammates that, I was putting them up, but someone else was putting them in. Despite his unusual circumstances that evening, Wayne's hot shooting continued in the second half, and with his 46th point, he eclipsed the Nelson Fieldhouse single game scoring record. Wayne would score once more. Now comes back, Estes gets Bray, looks at his defense, pushes, and it's oh, great, great. Wayne Estes has now scored 2,000 points in a three-year career. Following the monumental basket that gave Wayne Estes his 2001st career point, a timeout was called by USU head coach Liddell Anderson. Wayne received a standing ovation from the nearly 5,000 fans as his teammates carried him off the floor. After the game, Wayne and some friends stopped at the scene of a car accident near the campus. While returning to their vehicle, Wayne brushed against a down power line and was fatally electrocuted at 21 years of age. Less than two hours after perhaps the greatest basketball game of his career, Wayne Estes was dead, leaving those who knew and loved him wondering to this day what might have become of the greatest basketball player in Aggie history. There is no doubt Wayne Estes created a legacy for himself during his time at Utah State, but also during his short time on this earth, as his relentlessness and work ethic shaped the basketball player and the man he became. USU do everything, Cager is at his best when the chips are down. But Wayne's legacy reached much further than the basketball court, as he had a dramatic effect on the people who knew him, and even those who only knew of him. No one should ever forget Wayne Estes, not because of his tragic death, 
but for his well-lived life. <laughs>